What's up, the John Squad? And welcome to John's Thoughts, episode 66. That's right, we're in episode 66, the big 6-6. Six, six. So let's get things going to shower the John Squad. We're going to start off with, <clears throat> excuse me, the first news of the day. What happened during the week? AJ McCollum will open new sushi restaurant in Ta Talusia, Takusila, whatever, where that's from. Uh, I'm so horrible with states or names like that. So apparently he's going to open up a new sushi restaurant in that part of the state, country, wherever it is, Talusia. So that's good for him, man. He's going to open up a new business in, in, in the sushi restaurant. So whoever loves sushi, go check it out. Paul Dybel insists that there is only one, one Lionel Messi, and that's what he insists on, that there's only one Lionel Messi, in which there is. There's only one Lionel Messi, so can't blame him, unless there's a lots of bunch of Lionel Messis around the world, so you never know. The Florida Panthers shake up, so apparently they let go of uh, these guys. Um, the Florida Panthers got rid of these two guys. Toback as GM and Tom Murray out as... Tom Rowley out as coach and Tolbeck as GM. So apparently they got rid of them, guys. So what can you do about the Florida Panthers? Man, they had an awful season, and you can't blame them, man. They didn't make the playoffs this year. Neither did my Red Wings. So what can you do? So on to the next news that happened during the week. So apparently uh, ex-MLB player um, Otis Nixon turns up after missing person report. So that's pretty good that he turned up after missing person report. I'm glad they found him, man. Like, that's pretty good he turned up and glad he's safe and sound. So that's pretty good. Vancouver Canucks fire head coach Willie. Uh, I'm bad with this name, last name. Uh, Desardin. So that's what happened now. Willie Desardin. So they let him go. Can't blame the Canucks for doing that. And they're just building up to the very future of the bright future. So the Canucks are going to be a great hockey team in the next few years. Just you wait and see. Or it could be next season. You never know. Right, the John squad. Hit like if you think the Vancouver Canucks are going to be the best hockey team next year. You never know. Okay, so apparently, um, in an Instagram thing that happened here, um, Bill's Leon McCollum labels Dolphins Kiko Allison is bashing him on Instagram in a beef war. So apparently they have beef on Twitter between the two, and he, and he just labeled him on Instagram. So, uh, has labeled him as something, like, just something bad, I'm not going to say it, but that was pretty harsh what he did there. And it's not even the uh, football season yet, man. We're only in the month of April, and the draft is coming up, too. So, that's what happens. Buster Posey. Buster Posey. Buster Posey. Buster Posey. Okay. I love to always say that name, Buster Posey. Okay. Apparently, San Francisco Giants catcher Buster Posey placed on seven-day concussion disabled. So, apparently, man, like, when he took that ball to the head, I was like, ouch. Oh. But that's what occurred, and he's on the disabled list now, Buster Posey. So, I wish you well, Buster Posey. Hopefully you get better. My thoughts are in your prayers are with you. Tony Romo says he left something out there. So, that's what Tony Romo says, that he left something out there, man. You know, I respect Tony Romo a lot, and I'm glad he says that. Because, you know, I wish he could have won a championship with the Dallas Cowboys. But, you know what? He's like one of the greatest guys, Tony Romo, and I respect the guy a lot, and you know what? Tony Romo did left something special out there on the field, and you know what? He was just an amazing quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys, so sad to see him retire, and sad to see him, uh, you know, do broadcasting, but I guess that's going to be good to see him do broadcasting now. We're going to see what it looks like now in the football season, so it should be something else. Donald Trump says China will get better trade deal if it solves North uh, North Korea problem. Don't really know nothing much about this. Just decided to write it down for some reason, but still, Donald Trump. I don't even know what you're doing as our president, but still, just, just. Uh, I don't know, but no words are said for there. You know what I mean? Like no words are lost for Donald Trump. So. Can't blame Donald Trump on what he's been doing lately. 
Jonas Cespedes. Jonas Cespedes. Let's see what he's doing for the New York Mets. Jonas Cespedes hits three homers. Home runs, if you like to call it. And first five innings versus the Phillies. You want to think that this is kind of funny, you know, because it is the Phillies, you know. You, I just feel bad for the Phillies, though, and they did lose that game, too. So, it is the Phillies, though. you got to feel kind of bad and sorry for the Phillies. But still, you know, it's suspicious. There's no taking away with him. Boy, I wish he was I wish he was still on the Detroit Tigers, but still can't blame him. For hitting five home, three home runs in first five innings. So, that's pretty impressive. Cavs to waive Larry Sanders and sign Eddie Talvarez. So, I guess Larry Sanders was with the Cavs for a little bit of time, and now they're signing Eddie Salvarez, T -T Talvarez, whatever you like to call it. So, that's pretty neat. So, good luck with him. <sighs> okay, another news. Uh, Detroit Tigers, Andrew Romine hits first career Grand Slam. Against the Twins in a 5-3 win. Then after the game, he got drug tested after that Grand Slam. So apparently he got drug tested, man. For after hitting a Grand Slam, like, come on, man, MLB. Now, what are you guys doing now? Drug testing a guy just for hitting a Grand Slam? Just because you don't see Andrew Romine hitting Grand Slams lately during the season? Come on. It's, like, ugh, ridiculous. So, I'm a huge Detroit Tigers fan. I love Andrew Romine on the Tigers. But still, you just don't go and drug test a guy after he hits a Grand Slam after the game. It's just unbelievable what MLB is doing so apparently that's what happened uh, that's what occurred and another news too the Detroit Lions schedule will also be released on Tuesday so the Detroit Lions schedule will be released on Tuesday so that's something to look forward to for all you Detroit Lions fans out there for football and pretty much does it here for John's thoughts episode 66 done in the books I had Tiger with me the whole entire time on my bed. He was right here. I'll prove it to you guys. He was right here listening to me blabber on. Right, Tiger? He always had to put up my antics. But uh, once again, the John Squad, please like this video. Leave your comment down below. And subscribe for more if you love John's thoughts. And I hope you all love John's thoughts. Man, I'm doing every day to put things out for you guys. It's so hard for me to think of videos to make. Because I used to always love making videos with my grandma. But still, it's hard for me. And I'm doing my best the best I can. So, uh, once again, the John Squad. Please like this video. Leave your comment down below if you love John's thoughts. And leave a thumbs up if you love this episode of John's thoughts. And subscribe for more. You're all the best of John Squad. You're all one of a kind. I love each and every one of you all. Peace out, the John Squad. And happy Monday.